We're just around the corner from the Anchorage and we're in between the two resorts here. Now we did come here last year and uh, not much has changed really because of course last year we had just come around uh, at the beginning of lockdown and uh, here we are 18 months later and both resorts still empty in fact one of them which has the uh, the research center attached to the end of it is looking really quite decrepit even though there are people working on it uh, the roofs are in a state of disrepair uh, despite the fact there are a few boats anchored here, there is no one around. We were here a year ago and when we were here last time there were massive amounts of fish everywhere. Everywhere we took the kayaks, they were jumping out of the water. Everywhere. I've only seen a few about that big this year. So I don't know if they've all gone off somewhere for the day or if they've all been fished out of the water or they don't like this weird weather that we've got. So there is supposed to be uh, quite a lot of uh, breeze coming up the coast on the, on the southwest, quite a big one and we've got a lot of cloud around us and yet Kinabalu is completely not covered in cloud it's quiet, it's ominous, the lighting is weird it's very strange, it's very strange but Anyway, the reason why I wanted to come here was to take Liz in there, which is a little mangrove estuary and I think when I last came here I didn't have a very good camera I've got a slightly better camera with a big wide angle lens so I wanted to take you in there and uh, listen to the sounds of the mangroves. Mangroves are more important to cruisers than you might at first think. They line most of the bays along the North Borneo coast where we're currently sailing and provide a picturesque and reassuring sight at anchor. Mangroves help boats to shelter from monsoons, gales and even hurricanes. And perhaps they help weather the impact of climate change more than any other marine habitat. Growing in saline or brackish waters, they store carbon dioxide, absorbing 10 times more than the equivalent terrestrial forests. You've seen recently how we've been doing a lot of diving during lockdown here in Sabah. We can thank mangroves for protecting the coral from bleaching. Coral is the foundation of marine life and often starts out among the mangrove roots. It's even thought that mangroves help reduce the acidification of the oceans which in turn helps prevent coral bleaching. This is not to say mangroves are immune to climatic threats. Although they help form the shape of our coastlines, they need just the right balance of water to grow. Rising sea levels threaten these otherwise hardy plants, and replanting mangroves is not as easy as it sounds. Species are specific to their own region and environment. Well, unfortunately, we had to get out of the uh, mangrove very quickly because there were so many mosquitoes in there. I don't remember there being mosquitoes there last time, but uh, anyway, you got a little sneaky peek. Behind me, as we come out, you can see uh, there's a new fishing platform here. This wasn't here last year, and a few local guys just uh, building an extension using old 40-gallon uh, uh, cooking oil drums, I suppose they are, as floats, just to extend out their platform and they've, we've just met their two security puppies. They're not very good at security, they're very friendly. Pleasant afternoon for a barbecue, don't you think? So, uh, looking good, that's Tamara and Malcolm recommended this beach for a barbecue. So we're in a late afternoon barbecue. Tide is right out as you can see. There's quite a few local people there doing a spot of fishing, but they're also climbing around on the rocks. And when we were last here, they were picking up crab. Meanwhile, just behind me, just over my shoulder there, 
uh, one of the local guys in his little trimaran is just paddling out to do a bit of fishing as well. We see these quite a lot actually. So you've, you've got the, the sort of the kind of step up from a dugout, I suppose, in between a dugout and a, a normal single fishing uh, motorboat. Somewhere in between the two, he's got the two sort of outriggers either side, sort of Indonesian style. So you see them sort of milling around as well. Not really supposed to be, well, not supposed to be barbecuing here, and we're not supposed to be uh, fishing here either because we're just within the perimeter of the, uh, of the park. Uh, the red dotted line on the chart literally just, just runs just along there and then it goes all the way around the park, of course. As you know, we've been kicked out of an anchorage. Tomorrow, Malcolm were kicked out of an anchorage the other day. Um, but this spot here where we're anchored is a very good one. We've been here for about a week now and we, we love it. It's such a nice little spot. Well, this is a bit of a novelty isn't it? This is a different angle, you won't have seen us at this angle before and we've gone all the way from across the pontoon over there to the fuel jetty because we're filling up with fuel which is something we haven't done in a very very long time. Helping me is Ronald, yeah. he's there. Uh, we've filled up the tanks, we're now just filling up the jerry cans. I mentioned Ronald because he actually watches, not only does he watch our YouTube channel uh, he was looking to be a YouTuber himself. Anyway, he's very helpful. You have to remember, of course, they're down to skeleton staff here at the moment in the marina. Not many people here to help us, so Roy and Graham helped us with our lines. But anyway, that's our berth over there. And it was a case of just doing a backwards S-bend onto the pontoon. It actually went okay, considering, you know how much I hate moving around in marinas, but uh, it wasn't too bad, of course. Got half a mile of jetty here to miss, so uh, it'll be interesting trying to get back in. When we came in last time the other day, uh, it was a little bit um, shaky, let's say. I don't know if you can see, but we're right at the end of the marina, down there. There's only two boats and then we're at the end of the marina, so not much room for manoeuvre to get into those spots. But uh, anyway, it's all practice, at least filling up with fuel makes us feel like we're actually doing something, that we're about to go somewhere. We're not, of course, but uh, I figured it's a calm day. They've just replenished the uh, fuel tanks. I saw the lorry come in yesterday, so we've got some nice clean diesel, just in anticipation for when they lift the lockdown. This morning we are saying goodbye to another yachty who is leaving Malaysia and heading up to the Philippines. Something we want to do, but uh, we can't do that yet. The reason why Graham and Magda can do this is because they have residency. And the time has come for them to depart, so uh, let's slip the lines and say goodbye. You know how to do this, Graham? Forgotten. For so long. <laughs> Perhaps the most important question of all though is what is Roy going to do once his yes. boyfriend has left? Yes. He's going to be in tears. <laughs> Don't cry Roy. <laughs> Let's just have a quick chat with uh, Max TV. Hi Max TV, hello by Sutura Marina. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how are you feeling? Philippines, here we come. <laughs> Got some good weather as well. Nice weather, nice. You see, Ronald Rose, say hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have another one? Be your right, be your right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. That's a big teddy bear you got yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> Longer arm. Where is that? Where is that? Let me watch you. Ryan. Ryan. Oh, I'm not going to miss your jokes, mate. <laughs> this isn't yours. Don't get caught. 
Oh, it was sad saying goodbye to Graham and Magda. They're part of the family. They were here with us in Sutra, in Sabah, when the lockdown happened. And we were with them all the way through. They came over right round the other side on the rally with us. So, yeah, real, really sorry to see them go. But they've gone back to the Philippines, which is where they live. And we are hoping to follow in their footsteps once everything gets sorted out here, once they've opened up Malaysia and we're allowed to go in and out, that's going to be our next destination. So, Graham and Magda, looking forward, guys, to seeing you again. It's not the same without you. Hey, Graham, feel free to fuck off. <laughs>